And Tracy, you've got a question around food poverty, I think. Hi, I manage Christchurch Food Bank Plus and we encounter families daily, especially during the school holidays, who are living below the poverty line. We are also encountering increasing numbers of homeless and vulnerably housed people in Christchurch. The effect of the five week wait on universal credit is proving devastating to a lot of the families that I meet. How will you and your parties take action to deal with these issues and will you come and visit Christchurch Food Bank Plus if you are elected? Tracy, the work you do um, with Mike, you shouldn't have to do it, but thank you for doing so. Um, I heard a statistic the other day which frightened me, and that is that one in 50 households have had to rely on a food bank, which can't be right, not when we are in the fifth richest country, and we need to find a way to stop it. Um, what the Green Party are going to do, we can look at Built, like I was saying earlier, bolting on policies to what we've already got. We don't need to do that. We need to completely rip up the book and start again. What we want to implement is universal basic income, which means every citizen, regardless of their employment status, will get money every month. It would be at a rate of £78, I think, if I remember correctly, for all adults. What that means is that all other welfare would be eliminated, there'd be no job seeking, there'd be no... Um, working tax credits, this would be for every single person. There would be no shame in it. People wouldn't feel shame about having to claim or need to get this help. It wouldn't even help, it would be there for everyone, regardless. Um, what this would also do is a massive problem is people who are working and the working poor. And this would mean that people who are working 37 hour a week job would actually see their income increase by 10 to 15%. And that would hopefully start to alleviate the need to rely on food banks and everyone would feel equal in society. Thank you.